Hi there people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Today I'll be doing three episodes for you and as you can tell from my voice, I am unwell once again. Great. Uh, this is largely thanks to our weather change and obviously my fitness level is not that good. Anyway, the immune system also not that good. A little bit problem with the nose and uh, it's painful as well as cold and a little bit fever every now and then and thanks to our load shedding or uh, failure of power uh, four or five times a day at least four or five hours okay so you know restlessness and all that anyway so i decided to do videos anyway whenever i can hopefully i still have power when i do these videos so first episode i want to do something like i did this like like quite a few months back like this kind of videos uh something like uh why this fragrance is a masterpiece or a must have or something for this episode i'm bringing back one fragrance from house of chanel as you can see from title uh I did not think of so much when I got it. I'll tell you a story, more like a revisiting a fragrance, which is gonna be my almost a finished bottle, Chanel Alirum Sport O Extreme. This fragrance is hugely popular. I know many of you love it. And uh, like, you know, this is one of Chanel's best seller, top seller and one of the sweethearts in the community. I also have Chanel Alirum Sport. The whole line basically I reviewed. And then the originator obviously is Chanel Alirum. The original Alirum, my writing came off a little bit due to uh, think the alcohol or something sprayed on it but this is one of the most classiest fragrances for gentlemen ever like if you consider hugo boss bottled some of the big fragrances this is right up there so this one gave birth to many flankers and i do love edition blanche the cologne version sport and then they also have i think yeah quite a few ones edition blanche yeah this one the uh, oh extreme and alium sport i think about six in the line so this one is the most uh, complex <laughs> has the opening of peach and got this uh, i think spicy vibes you know like it's a very complex fragrance you know it's one of the most uh, complex fragrances very uh, nice to wear for formal occasion for fall and winter so we're not going to talk about this one but uh, all extreme got the most hype in the community for some reason let me discuss now how much i paid for it back then 2016 and how much is it costing now the prices have soared you know like it's sky high right now in bangladesh i don't know maybe perhaps the what you call the war happening in the world so economy is going kind of like you know and the prices world have worldwide have gone up but anyway in bangladesh they are charging almost 200 dollars for it now for 100 ml when i bought this it was uh, less than 100 dollars 85 dollars in malaysia uh, in terms of ringgit i think around 85 to 90 dollars which was still high this is one of the most highest uh, like price step for designer perfumes like this one chanel dior hermes some of the houses they have really high price tag but it's understood, Chanel and Dior are two of the most prestigious houses. So they charge a lot of money and people are loyal, they buy. So when I tried it, I'll tell you, I started my game mostly following Mark and Jeremy and Steven as well. So when I saw them reviewing, I think mostly it was Jeremy's recommendation. So I wanted to buy when I started collecting in 2015 or 16, I think. I got this, I think 15 or 16, I forgot. I saw their reviews and I wanted to get the big names, you know, typically what people do, like... You want to get some of the best ones. You don't want to get some weak juice in your collection, you know, to collect or start with. I saw the hype. I got this one, Durham Intense. And I think I got Edition Blanche. And then later I got Bulgari's Man in Black, Versace Purum. One by one, all those big names, Versace the Dreamer. When I got this at first, you know, like the counter where I got this from, uh, the lady said, this is nice, but uh, I sure you want this uh, because our top seller is Alirom Sport. That one right there, you know, this one, the top seller. This one that didn't sell as much as that one, as she said, because that was more fresh. This is more sweet and musky. She said there's a lot of musk in this. And there's also a lot of citrus freshness vibe, but it's more like a creamy, musky perfume. And she said it's nice, like ladies like it. There's like an orange sort of vibe in this, you know. And I smelled it. I'm like, I don't care what's in it. I'm going to get it because the bottle looks so awesome. Every time I used to pass by Chanel Boutique, you'll see these bottles lined up and from far, this bottle catch your attention because of the color this color the sport written one of the most beautiful looking bottles ever hands down and then the sprayers are massive so i saved up and i bought this and i did not care for it until i got one compliment from a girl you know like i went to a party like a dinner party or something and i was wearing it i took the bottle with me in the car i oversprayed obviously like in the party you want to be you know like when you start your game you want to get noticed you want people to know that you're wearing cologne so I did make sure uh, everybody noticed I was wearing, I sprayed I think about 8 to 10 times of this. And obviously I was projecting heavily and opening, I think 
two hours it projects very heavily but then even after that people can smell it around you and it has really good potency i don't know about the new batch mine is edp and mind you there is also edt version of this one in edition blanche so those things project more last less so i obviously had the edp one and then when I got the compliment from the girl, she said, whatever you're wearing, it's really nice. You know, it's like very beautiful perfume. Nice. And she gave me a smile. Total stranger, obviously. And it, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it made you happy because she's not lying, you know. Uh, so then, you know, I started wearing it. I liked it, but never was a love. Dior Sauvage, this one, some of these huge fragrances were not like a 10 out of 10 for me initially. I said, they're okay. They're nice. And I started wearing this until lately. When I saw the prices have gone high, I wanted to get like 150 ml bottle. And uh, when I want it, I still think I'm going to get it because now that's our habit. When the things are within reach, we don't buy it. When it gets up in the price, then we crave for it. But that's not the reason why I'm saying this is a masterpiece. This fragrance is so simple. This one has that musk. The main play is musk, okay? It's just so beautifully done. It's a simple scent. doesn't have so much transformation or whatever. So that orange is uh, citrusy, neroli, mixes with that musk. Basically, I think there's a Tonka as well. The longevity of this recent times, I don't know if it got mature with time. I have about, I think, can I see? No. I have about this much juice left on this, about 20 mil or 15 mil. Um, whenever I wear this on my shirt, it lasts a very long time. From this whole line, this is the longest lasting. Okay. I wish Edition Blanche gave me that, but this one, really long lasting. So beautiful. The orange blossom is so beautiful. The mask is so beautiful. And Chanel made this really, really well. Well done perfume. And compliments wise, you know, this is where this is a strong point of this fragrance, obviously on the price point, but compliments wise, this is one of the best compliment garners all year round. If you wear this in upcoming winter, sorry, or fall, this would be a really good choice. And the perfume doesn't smell like the most formal one, like the original Aliorum, but this is everyday wear, signature scent worthy, and heavy musk it just projects a lot and it's just a very pleasant smell uh, and women do like musk naturally uh, this is what my observation is because women's perfumes are musky vanillic in general so women sort of uh, connect with perfumes that smells like their territory and i think that's why it gets a lot of compliments for women so i would say after thinking of it for a very long time it's one of some of my best fragrances in my collection this is that 10 out of 10 fragrance even though it can smell really simple and too much pricey for what it is but you will not find any perfect one at least i haven't found of this or a replacement which is going to be as good as this or better this is really really good and this is better okay so chanel's uh Allurum sport o extreme i'm calling this uh genuinely masterpiece just because how easy it is to wear any occasion very versatile all year round and then how much compliment this one picks up this is like uh if you afford if you can afford it this one you should have in your collection but one thing nasty about these bottles or caps over the years they become sort of like the rubber starts wearing off and this becomes like melting point sort of it becomes dirty you see uh, that is not a massive problem i wish they gave like this kind of aliorum metallic cap which is like copper like these caps were better you know but apart from that no issue even the prices you can say 200 dollars should i pay for it no 200 dollars is not worth it you should get like a niche something more upper class but if you can score this even now, $130, you know, uh, this would be a good buy. $150 for 150 mil, which would be very difficult. Uh, if you have to pay $200 under, pay for 150 mil. That would be a good price for it. So this one and Bleu de Chanel, these two, I think, are must-have from Chanel. Okay, this is what I realized. And uh, these are really uh, some of the best creations and best fragrance in the market. So Alirom Sport Ovex Extreme, the gray... Uh, mysterious uh, like a simple yet elegant fragrance yeah, i would say try it you know i don't have to say go and buy it right now try it try to get a sample official sample if you buy if you're shopping at chanel tell them if they have a small sample there was a rumor of this one being discontinued the edp but i think they're still there uh, so yeah chanel alliance Sport o extreme in the end this is a true masterpiece and you should definitely check it out once in your life thanks for watching let's move on to second video take care